Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be doing a $1,600 gaming and much more PC build. Let's get right into it, shall we? But first, a word from today's sponsor. So before we dive into this build, we got to give a big thanks to one company in particular, Gigabyte. They basically provided almost everything here, but also a big thanks to NCXT because they provide the case. So uh, big thanks to those two companies. They made this build possible. Uh, the main concept behind this build is to show you some upcoming parts that you could look at from Gigabyte and NZXT that could be going on sale for Black Friday. So be sure to check the links down below during Black Friday to see up-to-date pricing. Uh, this build could be a lot cheaper. So if you guys are wondering why I said much more, this thing that Matt is holding in his hand is a Ryzen 3900X. Well, that's a 12 core 24 thread processor. It's basically a freaking thread ripper, but it actually has a really good frequency. So for gaming, it's going to be amazing. And for, <laughs> he's running off with it. I'm going to take it home. <laughs> for gaming, it's going to be amazing. And for editing and stuff like that, it's, it's going to like just blow stuff out of the water. So yeah, it's going to be a really good build for everything. Let's talk more about the parts, shall we? So to start the list off, we have the Ryzen 3900X. This is a third gen AMD Ryzen processor with a really awesome cooler, but we're not gonna be using that with this. But long story short, 12 core, 24 thread, boosts up to 4.6 gigahertz. It's kind of insane for how many cores there is. We'll see how it does in gaming. Thanks to our friends over at Arctic for sending this liquid freezer to 240 millimeter cooler that actually has a VRM cooler on it, which I have yet to see. So yeah, 240 millimeter cooler with the VRM cooler and supposedly this thing should be a cool like everything we could throw at it. So we will see how well it does with the 3900X. So from Gigabyte, we have the Aurorus X570 Elite motherboard. This is a gaming motherboard, oh yeah. It's Ryzen 3rd gen ready. It's X570, so it's gonna handle anything that we throw at it. It has plenty of room for upgrades and expandability. For the RAM, we have some Team Group T-Force Delta RAM. This is RGB, it looks really nice. 32 gigs at 3200 megahertz. So we got some dual channel action going on here, some really fast speed and a really high capacity. It's honestly gonna be very good for gaming and even even better for other things like rendering and editing. Hi, so now for the graphics card. We have the Gigabyte. We have the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT, which we've actually done a build up with this card before, but AMD is really killing the game right now. Their graphics cards are a great value for money, and uh, Gigabyte really wanted us to showcase this graphics card along with the Ryzen 9 to show you what kind of system you can build by just going all AMD right now. Um, this graphics card coming in with eight gigs of VRAM is a really powerful option for 1440p gaming, which we will be testing in the benchmarks because this thing shouldn't be playing at 1080p. Not worth it at all. Uh, but this thing is a really good option, and we'll dive more into it when we do the benchmarks. Now for storage, we have a crucial one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Now, no, this is not a PCI Gen 4 SSD, which you could get if you want to spend a little bit more money for this motherboard, but it is blazing fast. One terabytes of storage is more than enough to get Windows installed and a lot of other applications. You always add a hard drive, another SSD if you wanted to, maybe another PCI Gen 4 SSD if you want like a really fast scratch disk. There's a lot of different stuff you can do with a system like this, but we opted for this because it's very cost effective and is more than enough to get the system up and running. This is the Gigabyte B700H 80 plus bronze power supply. This is a semi-modular unit that, well, looks pretty cool. It's from Gigabyte. Uh, we're just going with a good theme here. Um, and 700 watts is more than enough for a system like this. The Ryzen 9, while be it a higher end processor, doesn't pull a lot of power. And the 57 XT is kind of in the same boat. So 700 watts is more than enough. And we had to rep our friend's Gigabyte here with the power supply. Now, to house all these beautiful parts, we had to go with a very beautiful case. And this is the case that I've wanted an excuse to build in for a long time. And this is the H510 Elite. This is the black version that comes with two RGB fans in the front. NZXT was actually nice enough to send over two more RGB fans to fill out the empty spots in this case. We're gonna RGB this thing up. This is their top of the line with the front temper glass, the temper glass on the side. It's basically like a higher end version of the H500, which you know I love dearly. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and see exactly how this thing performs when we put it all together. I think it's gonna do really well, don't you think?
So as you guys could tell by the benchmarks and the percentages and whatnot, this computer really kicks some butt when it comes to gaming and of course doing much more than gaming. Now one thing that we did notice was the 5700 XT was actually the bottleneck in this computer. All right, pretty surprising. Um, so you always could go something like a 2080 Ti or something above that in the future. Um, but right now this 3900X is, it's, it's a serious monster. So you probably are gonna wanna get some more graphics power if you're wanting to get the max bang for buck on this. And if for some reason you are not somebody who wants to do content creation, the Ryzen 7 3800X and 3700X will save you a good amount of money and also they're more in stock. Um, and you could put more money towards a better graphics card if you're mainly focused on gaming. But we really wanted to test out the Ryzen 9 because this thing is like one of the fastest processors you can get right now, uh, aside from the 3950X that was just released. Uh, but this thing right here is actually a really capable system for live streaming, video editing, uh, whether you're doing like 3D modeling, that sort of thing. So if you are just gaming and gaming at 1440p or even 1080p maybe look at the Ryzen 7 and save yourself a little bit of money. And this NZXT H510 Elite is actually a really nice looking case you know it comes in at a pretty good price point the side panel just has one screw to get it off which is really nice RGB fans look really good as well and they're all kind of plug and play they actually have like a system where the fans can plug into each other and then they have an in out so you can actually have the RGB go through each other fan rather than having each one plugged into the motherboard. And the liquid cooler from Arctic is actually very impressive, keeping this Ryzen 9 well under 60 degrees Celsius in gaming and ID64 stress tests. Really impressive to see that from a liquid cooler like this. One thing to note with this case is the fact that these are 140 millimeter fans up front and the radiator is a 240. So you're wanting to use two 120 mils. You have to do a little bit of reordering, like taking the fans off, mounting the radiator, and then screwing in the uh, 140 millimeter fans in front of it. It works, but you just gotta take your time with it and visualize how you actually wanna set it up. But um, it does work really well. And those 140 millimeter fans are pushing a lot of air through that radiator to keep it nice. And cool. So you guys also got to see us test out the PX7 from Pix. It's a 1440p 165 hertz monitor and actually playing like every game we were getting over the 165 FPS so we were able to like max out games even and get over that threshold so pretty awesome that we we're able to do that. The monitor is a really good monitor from Pixie. It looks really good and we were happy to game on it. The color accuracy on that monitor is vastly improved compared to other models out there. So if you're a content creator, this monitor might actually be a See how it's option for you. I ended up swapping it on my desk because my other monitor was slowly dying. But the PX7 is a great offering from Pixio. And as always, if you want any of the stuff mentioned in today's video, like the PC parts or the monitor, link in the description down below. And thanks again to Gigabyte and NZXT and Arctic for making this build possible. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.